Hi, my name is Jefferson Santos, and uh, prior to getting business for myself, I uh, grew up in the Dallas, Texas area. Uh, my mother, she was single, she raised my, my sister and I, and uh, she had three jobs, you know, to put food on the table and all of that to provide for us, and I uh, respect her for that, learned a lot of work ethic from her, but you know, on the, on the other hand, I, I didn't want to grow up and have to have three jobs, and it, it was kind of funny, as I was growing up, you know, um, in the summertime, you know, and, and go back to school, I talked to my friends and say, hey, you know, what did your parents, you know, would you and your parents do this summer? And they're like, oh yeah, my parents took me to Hawaii, my parents took me to Mexico. You know, I'm thinking in my head, man, I just hung out at the apartment complex. I, you know, I just hung out at the pool. And so I started to see a difference between my lifestyle and their lifestyle. I mean, I guess that was kind of the average between maybe average or below average and then successful. And you know, there's different definitions of success, but to me, you know, I started formulating, you know, freedom, traveling around the world, things like that. And so, uh, you know, got accepted to the U.S. Naval Academy, which is kind of a tough thing to do. Went there for a couple of years and kind of was a reservist officer in training. Uh, but I'm an entrepreneur at heart, and I really didn't see myself going, you know, all the way through the military career and having a 10, 15, 20, 30 year military career. So I transferred out of there to Texas Christian University uh, in Fort Worth and uh, played football there as well. So played football at the Naval Academy, also played football at TCU. So my background's always been around teamwork. And when I was at TCU, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to a gentleman by the name of Wayne. Now, I met, at the time, Wayne was 28, I was 20. He was a multi-millionaire by the age of 28 years old. Now, I don't know about you, but I think everybody would love to be a millionaire by the age of 28. And so, anyway, so he told me to read a couple of books, you know, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. The other one was How to, uh, the other one was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And after I read these two books, I realized that wealth building is a team sport. And I started to realize that I was trying to get ahead in life by myself, as is pretty much everybody else out there. And so kind of fast forward now to about six and a half years ago, uh, myself and Wayne and some other partners, we launched a travel and tourism company. We're actually based out of Plano, Texas, and we've launched now. It's been incredible. We're in 21 different countries around the world. Uh, we're kind of like a Travelocity and Expedia, but we also have another piece of it that's kind of like a Costco or a Sam's Club. We buy vacations at bulk, high volumes, and we just pass the savings on to the members. And so got a lot of happy people traveling at wholesale, and you know everybody likes to vacation. You know, from the ages 8 to 88, people that are young at heart, they want to go see the world and, and people buy what they want, not what they need, right? And so that's what's been happening. It's just been incredible. And so our company's grown via word of mouth, totally organically. I've got over 100,000 people in my sales team in 21 different countries. It's, 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 it's exciting. You know, my wife and I, uh, we're stay-at-home parents. Um, and, you know, the reason why we're doing this is number one, we wanted to raise our kids. We wanted to world school our kids, but also there's so many other people out there that are leaving, living quiet lives of desperation. You know, they're, they're working at their jobs because that's what they, that's what they did yesterday, that's what, that's what they did last week, that's what they did last month, and they have to pay the bills so they're kind of on a treadmill. So our mission is to help people break free of that, you know, help them earn a second income stream or a third income stream, whatever, whatever have you, and have it be residual, something that's willable, sellable, and transferable to their kids. You know, to, to, to build a legacy, right? And so that's, that's what we're doing. And so uh, my wife and I, we've taken 22 trips in the last 18 months. Uh, we're having a blast. We're helping other people. We've helped, you know, over uh, 10 people earn a six-figure income. We've got a couple of people earning a seven-figure income. And, and that's all because we're just helping people realize their dreams and just using what we're doing as a vehicle to help them do that. And so if you know anybody that is looking for a change in their life. They want to make residual income. They want to make extra money. Uh, they're kind of a mobilepreneur type of person. I mean, I'm telling you, these smartphones these days, I mean, they got enough computing power, like more computing power than the Apollo module did that got, got the guys to the moon in 1969. I mean, you can you get your GPS camera, video camera, all kinds of stuff to capture memories on a vacation all right here. Conduct business all around the world, even from the beach and from the comfort or your, of your own phone. So if you know anybody like that, you know, they're a go-getter. You know, they, they, they want to make residual income. They want to leverage time zones and make money while they sleep. Then have them give me an email or send me an email at jefferson at jeffersonsantos.com. Once again, that's jefferson at jeffersonsantos.com. And one last thing, um, it doesn't matter what type of vehicle it is. It is, it is, but it isn't, but also it's the training. See, personal development will help you get there. It's between the ears right here is your income follows your personal growth. And so if you can develop yourself and, and, and surround yourself with leaders and people that they know what they're doing and they've been there, done that, then 
you can be successful. Or you know, the person that you might know, if they want to be successful, you know, refer them over to me and then we'll help them do that. But other than that, look forward to meeting you here in the future, maybe one of the local events here on a beach somewhere. Um, other than that, uh, take care and God bless.